In Cost Planner, a snapshot is a saved status of uh, the project's cost plan, and you can always go back to that status in the report editor as well as in the cost explorer, and that then allows you to compare a uh, current state against a previous state that you saved. In this video, I will explain how you save a snapshot and how you can manage the collection of snapshots in your project. In this video, I will use the Cost Planner view and uh, we'll save a version of the cost plan. Then we'll take a look at the manage versions function to see what versions exist in the cost plan. Snapshots or cost plan versions can be created in the cost planner view uh, by using the add version or save version button from the, uh, the cost planner ribbon. So let's go ahead and before we make any changes, I will uh, click that button and I will call this version the baseline version of our cost plan. Then I can go in into the, uh, the cost plan and uh, I may publish and activate a new model or uh, I may want to change some of the quantities. So let's uh, change this by applying a factor. and. Uh, Maybe another change I want to make is by uh, changing the labor rate for the form work carpenter. So right now it's fifty dollars. I want to make that sixty. And uh, concrete pour. Let's say I want to change that to sixty-five. And then I can create another version, create another snapshot uh, by clicking that button again, save a version. And this is going to be called uh, adjusted version number one and I save that too. Now all versions um, remain available in your uh, project database and can be used in the cost explorer and the uh, report editor and you can see which versions you currently have in the project by opening the manage manage versions dialog and that shows the versions that I just created. In the next videos I will show how you can use this information for reporting and use with the cost explorer During this video, I use the cost planner view to take a look at the, uh, the current cost plan. Then I saved a baseline version. Then I made some modification and saved a second version that I called uh, adjusted version number one. Then I opened the manage versions dialog uh, to see which versions currently exist for the cost plan in the current project.